I'm Julia P.K. and welcome to Motorsport Report. Lewis Hamilton took another step towards this year's Formula One title with victory in the Japanese Grand Prix, narrowly beating Max Verstappen. Meanwhile, Sebastian Vettel's world championship ambition suffered a major blow at Suzuka when he was forced to retire his car early on due to a spark plug failure. It was an unfortunate situation for the German as the Scuderia ran out of time to change the part on Vettel's car. Max Verstappen enjoyed another successful weekend in Japan, passing Red Bull teammate Daniel Ricciardo off the line from fourth and challenging leader Lewis Hamilton's pace throughout the race. In the final stages of the GP, the Dutchman managed to close to within 0.8 seconds of Hamilton at the start of the final lap, but traffic helped the Brit escape and seal the win. Ricciardo completed the podium in third, 9.6 seconds behind Hamilton and 0.9 seconds ahead of Bottas. With only four Grand Prix and 100 points left up for grabs, Hamilton's lead over Vettel is now up to 59, with teammate Bottas just a further 13 points adrift in third. Now, one driver that has been sparking debate is Haas driver Roman Grosjean, when he quizzed race director Charlie Whiting over Lewis Hamilton's habit of taking his seatbelt off to celebrate after race wins. Hamilton clearly undid his seatbelt to celebrate winning in the Singapore Grand Prix and admitted he had done so on numerous occasions beforehand. After a series of back and forth between the drivers and Whiting, the race director concluded by saying, well, I don't think you should undo your belts. I think we've seen what can happen on slowing down lap. And so I think it's a very bad practice to undo your belts. That's it for today. I'm Julia Piquet and see you next time on Motorsport Reports.